Well, Tim, no way to put it easily, man. It's been a crazy couple of weeks for you, man. I just got to ask, you know, kind of where's your head at and, and how are you able to, to stay focused on the task at hand? Uh, man, uh, I wasn't in a good place for a few days. I got here early. Um, I wanted to come up and see some of the guys from Extreme, uh, see some friends that, that I've made up here. Um, I came up here without my coaches. The first few days I was, I couldn't sleep. I was staying up all night. I was drinking quite a bit and not eating very well. Um, and then, you know, my coaches got here. James Krause, Zach Cummings just got here and, uh, you know, slapped a little sense into me. I came in super underweight. I, was, I, I showed up on the check scale at 134 pounds. I was 148 in Canada when I got there um, to make 125. And then I was just 134 here uh, to make weight at 36. So my body's kind of a little jacked up right now. But, uh, I mean, when the time comes, I'll, I'll be ready. So, I mean, I have to ask, you know, fighting right now, is this because you – you need to. I mean, the paycheck it would be nice. Is it because you want to to distract yourself? Is it because you? I mean, what's what's the motivation behind fighting right now? I mean, uh, James Krause didn't want me to take the fight. Um, he was pretty against it. And uh, you know, I got here, and after the first couple of days, I kind of started thinking the same thing. Uh, he had a little bit of a talk with me um, last night, and that's what he said. Uh, he was like, "Man, these are your words. You said you wanted to take this fight because you didn't want to waste your last training camp with Fallis." So. Uh, so that's what the that's what the plan is. I spent two months here training every day with with the guy, and uh, you know now he's gone. I'm never going to get another chance. So I want to make the most of my time. I don't want to waste his time, and I don't want to waste mine. You took some abuse after you know your last non-fight or whatever. You know online, I saw it. I mean, how difficult was that for you? I mean, at first, obviously, people didn't know the entire extent of what was going on. Right. Um, how, how difficult that was that <coughs> to, to deal with just kind of that negativity? Oh man, it's easy. I, I love haters on the internet. Like I try to respond to everybody, whether it's positive or negative. Like I got a lot of spare time on my hands. I'm not a busy guy. Um, so that shit doesn't really bother me. The thing that did bother me was people were saying that he came in only five pounds over and blah, blah, blah. But he never made the official check scale. He never stepped foot on the official scale. He went to the hospital and got fluids, which is against the rules. You can't do that. And then they still offered me the fight. So. Um, it wasn't just me. My coach is making an executive decision. Uh, you know, I'm a dipshit. I, I don't know what's going on, but I have coaches that know what's happening. They know the game. They know the plan. And uh, I'll do whatever they tell me to do. So um, my coach wasn't, wasn't excited about it. He, uh, he knew that it was the right move to, to just step back. And uh, I feel good about my situation. Um, I took a fight on six days notice to fight John Dotson, the number one guy in the world. Um, and I was eating mushrooms in Sacramento, California, whenever they, whenever they called me. So, like, the thing is, they asked me a hundred times, can you make the weight? Can you do this? And, and I, I said I could, and I did. And, uh, you know, he couldn't fulfill his end of the bargain, and, and that should have nothing to do with me. I know you were a little frustrated with the UFC as well. Um, have you had any chance to talk to him? Have you been able to work through it at all? I have. I, I feel kind of like an asshole, but, I mean, I don't know. I, was, I wasn't in a great place. I talked to Mick a little bit, and I apologized. Um, they got me a quick turnaround. They, they gave me a, a list of guys that, that said they were ready and that could make weight. And then I agreed to a couple of guys that already confirmed that they would take it. And then they, they said no after they had already said yes. So I was a little bit upset. And uh, I wanted to go to 35 for this. Um, I just knew it was going to be hard for somebody to take a fight on short notice and make 125 pounds. I mean, a grown ass man doesn't walk around at 125 pounds. That's not normal. Um, so I'm happy they gave me the opportunity. They're not going to make me stay at 35, which I really like. Um, I would like to get another chance at, at Demetrius Johnson. Um, but if I feel really good in this fight and I, I perform well, 35 might be my home. Really? What do you think about your opponent, Mar De La Rosa? What, what do you know about him? Man, I don't know too much. Uh, I think it's a great opponent. He's, he's undefeated. He has good boxing, good wrestling, good jiu-jitsu. Um, I think it's a, a good opportunity for me to get fight of the night, and that's, that's really what I want. Uh, he's a way more exciting fighter than, than Petro Manga. Um, I, th I think uh, he's, he's going to be a better fight for me, and um, I think he'll bring the best out of me. I I'm looking forward to it. Very nice. What's the plan from here? Because, again, this has been such a topsy-turvy couple of weeks, just so madness how this has all gone on. I mean, do you feel like after this you'll want to take a little time and decompress a little maybe, or do you feel like you you you're better off just staying on the grind? Man, I, I don't know. I, I thought that staying at it and, and keeping my mind busy with fighting was, was going to make it to where I wasn't stuck in my head so much. But, like, there's little things when I'm like going to the PI and shit, just things that that will trigger me, and I get I get a little emotional, and, and I don't fight with any emotion. I never I'm never mad. I'm never I'm never sad. I'm just having a good time. Um, so I'm a little bit worried about how my emotions are, are going to play out. I don't want it to, to wear me out. Um, uh, I've never fought with any emotion before, but you know it, it could be a positive thing as well. Um, 
I, I moved up here to train with Fallis. Uh, I left my team, I left my family. Uh, I bought a house for $270,000, and now I'm stuck in a, in a spot where I don't really want to be here anymore. Um, he was the whole reason why I was here. Uh, I have good training partners here, a great team. Like all the extreme guys are, are, are awesome, but I mean, the fact of the matter is, like I was, I moved here to be near him. So uh, you know, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Tough spot, man. How do you, how do I mean, how do you make sure you're? I mean, is there any part of you that right now? Because I would imagine if you said, look, I made a mistake, I can't do this. I mean, nobody could judge you, right? I mean, is there any part of you that thinks maybe, maybe this isn't the right call? You know, uh, I talked with James Cross about that last night, and I said, uh, you know. I said, maybe you were right, man. Uh, maybe this, this wasn't a good idea. And then, uh, you know, he's, he's so good. He, he knows how to talk to me. He's, just, he's a super smart guy, not just in the cage, like in general. So, uh, you know, he let me know that I, I signed up for this and uh, I'm a man of my word, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fulfill my end of the bargain. And uh, I feel like if I can just do what I always do and, and listen to my coaches that uh, everything's going to be all right. How do you make sure you, you perform, knowing that you're committed? I mean, how do you make sure that you are on point on Saturday night? You know, there, I guess there's really no way of knowing. Um, I feel like I'm enough better than this guy that I should be able to win whether I can perform well or not. Uh, but I don't just want to win. I, and I don't really care too much about losing. Mostly I want to go out and I want to put on a show. I want people to be excited. I want people to have a good time. I want, I want them to be like, whoa, what the fuck was that? that? That's what I live for. So I feel like if I can just, if I can just get in there and uh, do what I love to do, then, uh, then everything will be fine. You feel like you're fighting a little bit for Robert as well? I do, man. Uh, but I felt like that before he passed.